Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use two of this TM1637 seven segment display with four digits. Many times you need to put two of these devices for different purposes to show different counting, different value, voltage, pressure, temperature, whatever you have. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. separate video explaining how this works and uh, how to connect it uh, but the only difference now here is that it will occupy extra wires here and two of them can be independently programmed to display different things as you can see at this moment they are starting together and then later on they are changing and they are doing different things either if you have this larger size or this smaller size it will be the same but some of these large modules that are shipped from China we have some issue that it, it cannot display anything because of some um, prob problem with the soldering some components. I have another video explaining that. The link will be provided. Other than that, the same code, the same library will work with both of these. When you receive the module, this, the, these pen headers might not be soldered, so you have to solder it either on this side or on that side because this can be cascaded. It has two sided uh, connectors and we have here 5 volts, this will be connected to 5 volts or VCC, this will be connected to ground and then we have data in out, DIO and then clock. Very important these two and VCC will be connected to the Arduino 5 volts. This wire is connected to 5 volts, ground is connected to the ground and the DIO, the data Data is connected to pin 11 in here, and then clock is connected to pin 10. The blue module, which is smaller, it has ground, which is connected to the ground, VCC connected to, to 5 volts of Arduino. Then we have clock and data. Clock is connected to pin 5, and data is connected to pin 6. Now let me explain the code and also demonstrate it because we will need it step by step together. Arduino.h is part of the library software that you download. You don't need to do anything, it's included. TM1637display.h is the library for this chip that is used in this display. You have to download it, that link will be provided as a zip and included in your Arduino library folder in your computer. Or just click on sketch, include library, add zip library and then point it to the zip file wherever you saved it in this case for example it's a zip it's something else but i'm just showing click and open i'm not going to do that this too is needed to define the clock pin and data pin i put cl c l k one and then data and out one this is for display one for this display and with pen 5 and 6 is used and for clock 2 and data 2, pen 11 and 12 is used for this one. This 500,000 millisecond is for each test that I'm running. This is not needed for your application everywhere, it's just for this test. We have defined the instance of the class, the instance of the class, and this is an object display 1 and object display 2, and we pass these values, clock 2 and data 2 in here and clock one and data one in here if you want the third display just copy this one paste it and change all the twos to three and also make these two copy paste it here and make this clock three and data in out three and also to assign two new different pens this is for clearing the screen zero x the hex value of zero 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 so this is clearing all the digits Inside the setup, we set segment brightness from 0 to, so this is 0x mean hexadecimal and 0f, f is the hexadecimal value of 15. And so it can be from 0 to f, 0 to 9 and after 9, instead of 10, it starts with a, b, c, d up to f. So this is one is for display 2, one is for display 1 and then here set segment data. After the brightness, we send this to clear the screen and then this will run only once because it's inside the setup 
and inside the loop this code will run multiple times I have separated this from with, with this line and this line is for clearing the data this is for writing the data for display 1 and then for display 2 and then we wait this much time which is displayed above around 5000 milliseconds let me reset this this displays start with 0 the 0 means start with 0 and 2 means 2 digits and then it start at 1 so this is 1 is for display 2 and it's for display 1 and then here set segment data after the brightness we send this to clear the screen and then this will run only once because it's inside the setup and inside the loop this code will run multiple times I have separated this from with, with this line and this line is for clearing the data this is for writing the data for display 1 and then for display 2 and then we wait this much time which is displayed above around 5000 milliseconds let me reset this this displays start with 0 the 0 means start with 0 and 2 means 2 digits and then it start at 1 this is starting with 1 and then 2 this is 2 it goes 2 digits and then if we say 3 it starts 0 1 2 3 it starts with 3 and the data will be out and after that we just display these two numbers and two of those and then I uh, there is a uh, loop that writes for both displays from 0 to 1273 and when this finishes it waits for that amount of time that we have set above and the loop continues it's going back to the uh, main test uh, by putting 23 at the position 0 now it goes to position 0 again you will see after 5 seconds so 23 and then this is 31 is 23 1 is 34 and it just shifts it because this go says display at the position 1 and then it's at position 2 0 1 2 and it goes for the third again thank you for watching this was how to use the two or more displays of TM16387. If you like this video and learn something, please thumb up and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.